Hello, I would like to welcome my English speaking viewers. I am making this version because I was requested by some friends of mine to give an English version of my vlogs as well as subtitle the existing videos of mine. I would try to make a use of my English even if my skills are rather intermediate. So, okay, so let's start. My name is Emil Electricos Emienczyk and I am the only intersex activist in Poland. Sadly, very sadly, I am only one in Poland. Uh, uh, I am uh, a non-transgender intersex person that also identifies as intersex. Uh, I am diagnosed with ASD that is far more well known as autism and this makes my, my activism even more difficult. Uh, as for my activity work, I am a half public person and since over two months now uh, I, made, I made my own vlog basically on the intersex topics but not only on these it's the only one of its kind in Poland but I see I must be a very miserable vlogging person according to the number of my videos viewed a uh, few days ago I created uh, a Facebook Polish group that is the first in Poland that shows the intersex topics from the practical point of view. Uh, I am also in the process of creating the only intersex forum in Poland and uh, I hope and I think this would be released uh, very soon now. Mm. Besides, I locally inform what the intersex topic is about. I correspond with our Polish Ministry of Health on the topic of the refoundation of hormonal treatment for the intersex. Uh, I correspond also uh, with the Ministry, with our Ministry of Health on some other topic that concerns our disabled patients, our disabled patients that are, let's say, uh, health pensioned medium years and they have a status of medium disability group. Uh, I was at the Vienna 2017 International Interconference as the only Polish representative. Uh, very sadly I missed the enrollment for this year's conference and I feel very sorry for that. Uh, I am a non-provisioned intermediary in conveying hormonal medicines from abroad that are much cheaper there than those you can get in Poland. Also non-provisionally I make some paperwork for interested people for, from the transgender society in cases like, like a gender neutral names topic that is uh, something new in Poland or the court formal gender reassignment topic. I prepare the whole documentation for this for interested people. Uh, I must say that uh, I make some fantastic friends from abroad, from overseas, that are uh, other intersex activists and I must say that uh, they are fantastic people. Uh, in February this year there would be my fifth anniversary of my estrogen biological hormonal therapy. 
uh, I want to point of you I want to point out uh, in this moment that I don't really mind that my formal gender is male I don't really mind this uh, besides uh, I am a health pensioned medium year so uh, I am health pensioned uh, I had my own firm since 15 years now uh, I am a licensed electrician uh, uh, sometimes I am a plumber and a sheet tracker this would be concert, concerned pretty weird but in Poland you don't need to, to, to have any professional electro college to get the license you just need to go like a very average person from the street to the exam and answer several questions electrically topicked or even or even you could be questioned about your medium disability group and after this you you get your electrical license so that is probably pretty weird mm. Uh, I own my own house since December 2015 uh, and I renovate this house by my own means uh, I take care of an old grandpa with a very difficult character uh, my parents never accepted the fact that I am intersex as well as they never accepted the fact that I am autistic. Uh, in November 2018 I would reach my 30th birthday and I joke that uh, this would make me quite of an old person. Uh, I am also a person that everybody suspects of everything wrong around but uh, I get in one one piece in every situation and never give up and that's what what uh, that's why I still live that's why I am still a still around uh, I think uh, for my intro for today this would be everything so thank you and see you next time.